Hey guys, it's me, and this is for all your quarantine tourists out there. Well, I'm here to talk about Thomas and Friends, based off that railway series that Wilbur Audrey did back in 1945. Brielle Croft decided to take those books and turn them into some stories for a TV show, and half of the episodes are not even based on, on the stories. I grew up watching the the old Marvel series, and parts of the new, of the Lionsgate, uh, white CGI, Misty Island, Gear of the Rails, and Day of the Diesels, those were, oh, and also Boom on Mystery. Those were great films, great specials, and the best season of all is season five. Very intense, very scary, very, you know, send you behind, behind the, the couch if you watch these at night. I had nightmares for weeks. And my... Love is the wooden railway, which I still have. I haven't really gone around the plane with them in a long time. Yeah. I enjoy how they sound on the wooden tracks and stuff. They're really great. Yeah. I just like the wooden ones better than Take Along, Take and Play, Trackmaster, Tomy, any other merchandise in the franchise. It, now, it went from Gulgain to Lionsgate, and Mattel turned it into a yupsie, into, turns it from a yupsie to a whoopsie. Now, there's ridiculous characters, ridiculous, I don't know, just, ugh, cringe-worthy episodes. And, well, you can't really do nothing about it. Since before, I think, The Great Race, they decided to let Mattel, the, the store company that did all the toys and stuff to take over it. Well then, my thing against the new new episodes is that, well, there hasn't been any on Nick Jr. lately, or they moved from PBS Kids Sprout to Nick Jr. And, well, there hasn't been any new one in months. By the way, that's Thomas the French. The books came out in 1945, and the Railway series came out in 1984. Until then, this is me signing off, and I got a mosquito bite. Bye, quarantine turds.